Hello YouTube, thank you very much for watching. This is CS Toys International and, and here we go. Uh, another demonstration. Now this time I like to try the Ultra Act. Okay, we have two Ultra Act today and so this is one of it. Ultra Act, Ultraman Varial. And I know I've been waiting for this items, you know, to open it and do the demonstration. So let's find out. Okay, so first of all, and this is the package. I mean, actually, this is the uh, you know, back of the package. And the front, like this, you know. Uh, Ultra Act series it seems to have the you know, kind of deformed pictures here, like this. Right, that's kind of nice. And you can see that the burials inside here. And logo, Ultra Act, Ultra Act, Ultraman Burial. Yep. He is the Genu Ultraman, but evil one. Not the fake Ultraman, okay, but it's a genuine. All right, that's a great part. Okay, so uh, this uh, uh, I hope you can see this one. In the back of the package. It uh, explains that it comes with a light effect, and then uh, uh, Giga Battle Lizer comes with it. I'm sure we can expect that uh, more more possibility. Okay, all right. So uh, shall we? Okay, right here. There we go. Now, you see that? Comes lots of the you know uh, lighting effects like this. Aloha. And himself. Okay. And battle nicer parts. And look at that. This hand. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he seems kind of skinny, uh, maybe, so, uh, maybe in the, because in the package, I guess. Uh, let me open this one. Does it have taping? Yes. Okay, so let's bring him up. Well, the burial. Okay. Alright, and so let's take a look at his uh, first, uh, his, okay, the focus, come on, maybe, maybe needs to focus here, oh, there we go, okay, uh, you can see the pretty muscle that he has, you know, <laughs> everywhere, sorry about the backgrounds, today I, I, I'm really needs to be here, so maybe, maybe this side, will give you the better look of this items. No, I can see the ugly those signs there. Okay, uh, here we go. Okay, that's good. All right, this is better. All right, you can see that uh, his beautiful muscles here, there. Let me move my camera. Now, 
another stroke? I don't think this one is put another stroke. More like a, a hard stroke. <laughs> okay. And actually, all right. And so let's take a look at his back. Well, uh, as you know, the one of the uh, featuring uh, the uh, uh, you know burial is the featuring pad is that his back is you know kind of bended, and it's really nice to see that his you know the back. Like you see that the kind of thin things. Okay. All right. And and his face. He looks very evil on this one. Now the texture, yeah, that's true. It's just as you see that you know texture of the body has a very quite you know bit the different uh, the, than Ultraman ones. You know Ultraman ones are very smooth and you know feel that the kind of you know kind of plastic you know things kind of makes the cheap. But this one is not. As you see that the the surface of the body has the all the you know, uh, the small that you know, you know wrinkles here. Look at his back. Whoa. See? And his feet. And I heard, okay, I can see that his uh, mouth, I mean, the jaw can open. See that? That makes him very evil. You can close it, and actually you can open it. And when you see it open his mouth, <laughs> he has teeth. Oh my goodness, he has teeth. Wow. You see that? He has. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> all right, <laughs> and and then when you when you close it, he looks like you know basic kind of you know Ultraman style figure, but when he open it, wow, so Wow, I didn't know that Ultraman could have the teeth. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. And also, okay, let's take a look at the posabilities now here. Uh, his, well, besides that, his jar. Okay, his neck. Okay, the picture video is a little, little, little bit lagging here. My bad. Okay, so your the band, uh, the neck can be bended like this, All right? And also. arm and this side okay okay and look at the, 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 the joints here they use the same technique as the, uh, you know, uh, the Ultramans. The, uh, the joints covers that all that arm, not the armors, but the, uh, his muscles moves like this. So it's pretty, you know, to me, it's pretty natural uh, and in a great way to, you know, do the demonstrate that the Ultramans, the muscles. It's a good idea. And look at the, his uh, hands. Hands is not, it's, it's, you know, it's. <laughs> Pretty sharp, okay. Of course, you know the hand is replaceable, so I would just try that uh, those light effects, you know, uh, together with the light effects later on. Okay, so you can bend it like this. And for the, his body, it's pretty smooth, and it's not that you know, it's pretty tight. 
Um, I remember that on Anesia's demonstrations, you know, it, it, during the, he was doing this, you know, he, uh, the, the bottom half of the Ultra Manga dropped. And it's, it seems that it's okay now with this one. No shoulder pad? Uh, let's see. What do you think? This is the shoulder muscles here, okay? But, as you know, Okay. And the other side. Okay. And for his arm, I mean our legs. That's wow. Relaxing a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And for the feet, of course, it comes has the uh, joints on the toes. <coughs> Very good. I like it. I like it. Really like it. All right. And now it's time for the. Uh, So, um, and let me bring that uh, some of the uh, part, effective parts here. Let's take a look at them. Let's see, we have the, uh, of course, the, uh, uh, the first, probably the arms, not the effective parts. I mean, the hands. Oh, these hands are good. Okay, look, look. Actually, you, it, the, these hands can move. And the fingers. Let me show you. Okay, so uh, these uh, these figures can move. Uh, seems that the two sets here, uh, the pinky finger and this one, you know, can move together, and this one move together, and thumb move like this. And here, this one too. Yeah, that's very good. And here, uh, of course, the uh, thumbs moves like this. Okay. So uh, let me depress that these hands. And the other side as well. Now look at this. Look very, you know, evil actually. And look at this. Are you listening? All right. So this is the, you know, this is the uh, Ultraman Vario, the Ultra Act. And right now, his crow is like this. Oh, eternal. Today, I'm going to come back. I'm not going to come back. I'm not going to come back. Sorry. There's a lot of money on the side, but I'm not going to come back.
らっしゃいませ。Okay, so、uh, actually he can you know do that very cruel posing with his. Ooh, let me bring down my cameras. Aha, how's that, huh? That looks very scary. <laughs> okay, just like this. Yeah, very good, very good you now figure like this. With a, those small crawl and makes very evil. It is an evil Ultraman's. Now,、uh, while we are looking at the,、uh, those evil Ultraman's, let me,、uh, let me take a look at the, those small parts, affecting parts, and the、uh, Giga b a t t l e n i z e r here. Okay. So these are the small parts of the Giga b a t t l e n i z e r s and let, let's take a look at them. Here we go.、Right, can you see that? So, these are the parts that we can get. And we will try this one later on, but this is the end, both e n d of the Giga Battle Nizer here. And this one is the, I believe, this is the,、uh, the one that we can use for the normal size. You know, this Giga Battle Nizer is very long enough, quite long actually. And we can make him have it. And okay, let me let me connect it. All right, so let's make him have it. This one, like this. All right. Well, when we talk about the, you know, the、uh, barrier, we do need the battle nizers. All right, how's that? Hi, Osam, good to see you again. And this is Ultra Act Burial together with the,、uh, the beautiful Giga Battle Nizer here. It's very long enough to hold that, you know, he's very tall actually. Yeah, it's very good. They've did they done a very good job on this one. And let's take a look at the,、uh, you know, some of the other lighting effect parts.、Uh, we have some more. And this is the one of the,、uh, the heating effect, I mean, just a、uh, gigabatt of nice at the other end. And you see, this is the, you know, heated up. You know, it's changed that color. Very nice. So actually, you know, I can replace it. Uh, replace this one and to this. Okay. So it's really showing that, you know,、uh, what's that, that、uh, the, those, you know,、uh, distractive the beams or something、uh, at the, from the end of the,、uh, these batonizers. And also, there comes the uh, other, um, let's see, other one as well here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, this is a very nice lighting effect part. And I think this one, with the shape like this, I think it will go here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Like this. Okay. And this one will obviously go s here. And let's have the, the barriers to keep it.
I really, I think he really needs to make that, you know, the kind of special posing for this using this one, right? That, that, this effect. But um, with the Tamashii star stage, I think it's, you know, it's, it will be very possible to make that any different kind of the posing as well. Yeah, swishing effect. Okay. Sorry about the focusing and the backgrounds. I wish I could have the, uh, the perfect backgrounds for this one. But we don't have that here right now because of the giant shop out store now. Okay, and oops, excuse me, I think I accidentally touched that, you know, uh, shutter buttons. Oh, I see. What is this? Okay, so actually, here's the one small thing uh, lighting effect parts. And I think this will go... Oh, okay, you know, I got it. We'll go with this. Like this. Wow, so So actually you can like do this. You know, just uh, to, I think this one is Showing that just before that the destruction beam is ejected. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, this is very good. Very good. Very good. I like that. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're gonna have the uh, burials here standing up, and uh, we're gonna bring that a uh, Gomorrah later on, but. You know what, um, just to give you the good idea about the size, okay, let me bring the, just a regular uh, vinyls, uh, figures. One second. All right, and uh, I brought that, you know, Gomorrah actually, the Ultra Monster Series EX Gomorrah number 13 is here. And just to give you the idea of the size. Alright. So this is the EX Gomorrah. Okay. This is the EX Gomorrah, just the, you know, negative vineyard figures, you know, like 800 yen or something. Okay. It's pretty good figure like this. But look at the size, you know, uh, the Ultra Act series is, you know, almost same size with the, those vineyard figures uh, for the monsters and the Ultramans. And so this makes that, you know, uh, your collection more interesting. You can bring that uh, your, you know, different, your favorite Kaijus and uh, different uh, Ultramans uh, like this. I don't have the Ultraman, but the uh, Ultra Zero uh, here, Ultraman Zero here. Uh, with the uh, you know those plastic case, but he's in a cold sleep mode, I think. Uh, but it's it's about the same size. See. So this makes it uh, you know very interesting. You know that your collection will be more valuable and more playable together with this items. All right. So you know Ultra Actress is indeed well designed. You know. Uh, Nice figure using the same idea with the SH figures, and I know I, I know we, there will be a, a Ultra Sevens and then more. The Gomorrah is here, and more new items coming from this line. And I know, I know that, that this will be a very very good popular lines. Okay, so well, uh, thank you very much for watching this demonstrations, and uh, this has been the live demonstration from the uh, CS Toys International. A live demonstration actually from the uh, Matsuyama Okaido and this is the uh, challenge shop and we are proud to represent our Ultra Act Ultraman Burial 
And thank you very much. And I uh, will come back later uh, with the uh, Ultra Act Gomorrah, the monster, after this. And thank you very much. And talk to you soon.